I think as a chef, I find it really important to take family recipes, recipes that have so much heart and soul, and reinvent them, take them to the next level, and to share them with friends and family. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Melissa King, and I am here in San Francisco, and I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite appetizers. It is a grilled oyster with Szechuan chili butter, and we're pairing that with a bourbon orange fizz. It's really gonna be a play on champagne and oysters. One of my favorite things. So the first thing we need to start on is the chili oil. This is one of my family recipes. It's really one of my favorite condiments. Most every Chinese household has some form of this, either in the refrigerator or on their dining room table. We eat this with dumplings, noodles, anything you can imagine. First things first is we need to take our oil and heat this up. And you wanna use a neutral oil. We're letting this heat up to about 350 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer, you take a wooden spoon, stick it in there. You wanna see whether or not bubbles come out of the sides. So see right now, there's some little bubbles happening. All right, our oil is nice and hot, so we're gonna throw our spices in. We have a lot of different flavors going on in this chili oil. We're gonna go right in with the cinnamon stick, some of our whole clove, and star anise, bay leaves, our Szechuan peppercorns. They kinda of give this numbing spice to the chili oil fry these spices and really extract as much flavor and aroma into the oil. And you just want to fry this for a minute or two until the spices are golden brown. Then when you're ready, get yourself a vessel and a little strainer. You're going to want to shut off the heat and strain out the spices. We're going to put some chopped garlic into the oil. Be careful, oil is hot. Give that a stir and go ahead and throw your chilies in. Also gonna add a pinch of salt, just to season it up a little bit. And that's it, that's the chili oil. All right, this is smelling really good. I am going to transfer this into a container and just let this cool down a bit. And then we're gonna make the butter. So the Szechuan chili butter, it is really just a compound butter and we're taking that chili oil that we made that has so much flavor and just mounding it together with some butter. So we're gonna start with a stick of softened butter. And if you don't have a mixer at home, you can certainly do this by hand. It's a little more arm work though. <laughs> so we have our butter in the mixer. We're gonna put some brown sugar. Turn that mixer on. It's on the paddle attachment, so we wanna just whip the butter till it's soft and kinda of cream the sugar into the butter. Go ahead and put some garlic right in there. Now that the chili oil is cooled down, you wanna give this a little bit of a mix. Let's slowly drizzle the chili oil into the butter. Just a couple tablespoons, depending on how spicy you like it. And do a little pinch of salt. Turn it up a little more. You really wanna whip it in there and aerate the butter. And we have our Szechuan chili butter. I told you it was easy. You can go on ahead and scrape this into a bowl or a container. And this is gonna go on top of our oysters. So I'll show you how to do that next. All right, so I am going to show you how to grill the oysters. You can use any kind. I'm using West Coast oysters. We're in California here, baby. It's really whatever your heart desires when it comes to oysters. But one tip is when you're gonna grill them, it's best to have slightly larger oysters to really catch uh, the butter and all that flavor. But first you need to shuck them. The best thing to do is use a towel to just protect your hands. Brace the oyster between the towel. Hinge towards your dominant hand. And get that oyster knife into that hinge and give it a little wiggle with the wrist. And right there, just came right off. And slice along the top of the oyster shell to take that shell off. So it should be nice and clean. Turn it around, do the same thing underneath to get that muscle released from the bottom shell. And make sure there's no little shells in between. I try to pick those out. And that's it, you got your oyster. And I like to use a bed of rocks or a bed of sea salt to hold the oysters so that they're not moving around too much on the tray. That'll just make your life a little bit easier. We have our tray of beautifully shucked oysters right here. And we're gonna to top them with that Szechuan chili butter. And one little tip that I have for you is if you have one of these ice cream scoopers, it just helps to portion it out a little bit easier. If you don't have one of these, you can use a spoon. Little scoops of that butter right on top of each oyster. So I got the chili butter on each one. 
These cook so quickly, really within one or two minutes. So get your grill really nice and hot. Use your tongues and just set them down on the grill gently. <laughs> so gently. <laughs> Be careful, there is a lot of liquid in these oysters. And you know what, we're cooking here. <laughs> All right, so just leave them alone. Let them do their thing. The butter's gonna melt and get right into those oysters and just kind of warm them up a little bit. We want them to get a little bit of browning on top. If you're not getting enough browning, you can do this in the broiler as well. So I'm gonna walk you through how to make the bourbon orange fizz and we're gonna use the Maker's Mark 46, which has a really distinctive flavor profile because of the French oak staves in the finishing process. It has sort of a bit of a sweet undertone to it that complements the spice and sort of that richness that you're gonna get in the oysters. We are going to do one part Maker's 46. We'll do a half part of orange juice, a half part of lemon juice, a quarter part of simple syrup, four dashes of orange bitters. Now we shake. Give that a pour right into your glass. I'm gonna top this with a little bit of champagne. And an orange twist. And that's your bourbon orange fizz. So let's go eat some oysters. Can't wait, I'm gonna give these oysters a taste. Mmm, they're sweet, they're rich. There's a little bit of spice and heat from the Szechuan chilies. The Maker's Mark 46 lacks the bitterness that's typically found in extra aged whiskeys. This is just gonna complement the oysters really nicely and just so beautifully. It has a little bit of a sweet undertone to it that'll really complement the spice that you get from the Szechuan chili. It's really, again, just a fun play of champagne and oysters. So I hope you give this a try at home. It's just great and crowd-pleasing for your friends and family. Cheers to you.